In this module, we will talk about management of MDR and XDR tuberculosis. Uh, we will be talking about the definition of MDR and XDR and pre-XDR. Then we will cover the epidemiology global as well as Indian. How this develops, the laboratory issues, management of drug resistant tuberculosis. We will also have a look at the case studies. We will talk about the newer drugs, shorter MDR-TB regimen. Then briefly we will cover the programmatic aspect of drug resistant tuberculosis. And we will also talk about the role of surgery. And finally we will conclude. If you look at the global uh, annual incidence, the recently the global annual report 2016 was released and it showed that in 2015 alone there were 10.4 million new cases of tuberculosis and India contributed around 27 percent of them. And in this report about the MDR tuberculosis, they reported that there were 4.8 lakh cases of tuberculosis in, the, in 2015 uh, which developed and India had 1.3 lakhs of uh, MDR tuberculosis in 2015. You see the uh, common belief is that any TB patient not responding to treatment is drug resistance tuberculosis. And also many people believe that TB patient with resistance to many drugs, they are MDR exia tuberculosis. But we should know that this is a laboratory term. MDR tuberculosis we say when there is resistance to at least INH and rifampicin, which are the key drugs in the management of tuberculosis. And the XDR tuberculosis that is extensively drug resistant tuberculosis, it includes cases with resistance to INH and rifampicin and any of the fluoroquinolone and at least one of the three second line injectables that includes caprimycin, canamycin and micacin. Streptomycin is not included here in the list of second line injectables. Then about the pre-XDR tuberculosis, it includes resistance to uh, INH and rifampicin and either any of the fluoroquinolones or at least one of the three second line injectables that is caprimycin, canamycin or amicacin. Now looking at how common is MDR tuberculosis globally, in this report of 2016, they found that in 2015 alone there were 4.8 lakh cases of MDR tuberculosis and additionally monoreferation cases were 1 lakh. And India, China and Russian Federation, they contributed around 45 percent of these 5.8 lakh cases. And coming to India, in 2015 there were estimated 1.3 lakh cases of uh, MDR which developed. And this is very important is that among the new cases of uh, tuberculosis, 2.5 percent are MDR tuberculosis. That is if there are 100 cases of tuberculosis, 2.5 percent of them will be MDR tuberculosis. And among the previously treated cases of tuberculosis.